Hey guys, welcome to another video of SpaceX Updates. In this video, we are going to see some bad news from this week at SpaceX and a few other launch updates. So, let's start the video. After the successful static fire of 11 Raptor engines earlier this week, the orbital launch mount definitely needs some repaint work. SpaceX seems to have a problem with Booster 7 after the static fire test. Earlier today, Booster 7 was lifted off from the orbital launch mount using the chopstick arms and is now placed on a transport stand over an SPMT. I am curious to know if they need to swap a large number of engines or if there was any internal damage to the rocket during the static fire test. Is it going back to the Megabay for one last upgrade before attempting a full 33-engine static fire? Only Elon can confirm any of these speculations. According to the plans that the SpaceX chief said last month, the next test would be the static fire of all 33 engines. When will it happen is the question and if the orbital test flight is possible this year is an even more curious one. SpaceX's moon mission has been delayed yet again. iSpace's Hack to R mission has been indefinitely postponed until the announcement of a new date. SpaceX said they are having issues with the Falcon 9 for this mission after additional inspections of the rocket at the launch pad at SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. But the lunar lander itself is in good health. The rocket might have already been rolled back to the hangar for further checks to determine a new launch date. The iSpace team is confident that if the launch is completed by mid-December, there will be no major operational changes, and the scheduled lunar landing date is scheduled for the end of April 2023. There will be no change in the landing target point. We might have a new launch date after the 6th of December next week. This is the second time that SpaceX indefinitely postpones a launch with a previous Starlink mission back on November 18. SpaceX's launch of the OneWeb Launch 15 mission is now scheduled to lift off on December 6 from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. All 41 web satellites have been encapsulated inside the fairing and are now waiting for rollout to the pad. In a December 1 notice, the FCC gave permission to SpaceX to start deploying 75O of its second-gen Starlink satellites. And finally, a BL space system is now targeting December 7 as a new date for its test flight RS-1 mission. Well, that is all for this video. Hope these short videos are helpful to keep you updated on what's going on in the space industry. Thank you for watching.